Ever wondered what happens to a molecule when it absorbs photons? Welcome to the fascinating world of photodegradation. Simply put, photodegradation is the process where a photodegradable molecule breaks down as it absorbs photons. Consider the sunlight that bathes our world every day. It's not just a warm, comforting glow. It's a complex mix of different types of light. Infrared radiation, visible light, and ultraviolet light. These are the key players in the process of photodegradation. Each photon that a molecule absorbs can lead to its degradation, changing its structure and properties. But sunlight isn't the only source of photons. Other forms of electromagnetic radiation can also trigger photodegradation. So whether it's a molecule in a lab under a special light or a leaf in the sun, photodegradation is a constant, fascinating process. So the next time you're out in the sun, remember, there's a whole lot of photodegradation going on. Now that you know what photodegradation is, let's delve deeper into how it happens. Picture this. You have a dye molecule, a tiny speck of color, and it's about to embark on a journey. This journey starts when our dye molecule lands on the surface of a photocatalyst, a special material that's going to help it break down. This landing is what we call adsorption. It's like our dye molecule has just checked into a hotel, and the photocatalyst is the lobby. In the next stage, the dye molecule starts to feel the heat, literally. It's because it's being exposed to light, and not just any light. We're talking about infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet light. These are the types of light that can cause photodegradation. This light exposure is the dye molecule's wake-up call. It's time for it to check out. As the dye molecule absorbs these photons from the light, it starts to get excited. And by excited, I mean in the scientific sense. The energy from the light causes the dye molecule to get all jittery and unstable. It's like it's had one too many cups of coffee. This is where the real action begins. Our jittery dye molecule starts to break down, thanks to some very reactive radicals. These radicals are like the housekeeping service at our hotel. They come in and start to break down the dye molecule. This process is known as decomposition. Now there are some factors that can affect how quickly or efficiently this process occurs. The pH of the solution, for instance, can speed up or slow down the process. The initial concentration of the dye can also play a role. The reaction temperature and the intensity of the light can make a difference too. It's like adjusting the thermostat or the lighting in our hotel room to create the perfect conditions for the dye molecules stay. And that, in a nutshell, is how photons break down molecules through photodegradation. Let's do a quick recap of what we've learned about photodegradation. Photodegradation is an intricate process where a molecule disintegrates due to the absorption of photons, primarily found in sunlight. This process involves a range of wavelengths, from infrared radiation to visible light and ultraviolet light. However, other forms of electromagnetic radiation can also instigate photodegradation. The entire photodegradation process, from the adsorption of dye molecules onto the surface of the photocatalyst, to the decomposition of these molecules by reactive radicals, is influenced by several operational parameters. These include the pH of the solution, the initial dye concentration, the reaction temperature, and the intensity of irradiation. Understanding this process helps us appreciate the importance of light in our world and its role in the degradation of different materials. It's another fascinating example of how the natural world operates. Thanks for joining us today to learn about photodegradation. Don't forget to subscribe to Aminolcom Innovation for more interesting science content. Until next time, keep asking questions and exploring the world around you.